Okay, I wanted to give an update about Balenciaga because we have a few new statements. We have a statement from Balenciaga and a statement from Demna Gvasalia, the creative director for Balenciaga, and they kind of take responsibility. And then big news in one of the uh, statements is that they're not going to be suing over the placement of the document which was related to a Supreme Court case involving CP. So basically, Balenciaga is, um, in a way, taking responsibility and they leave themselves open potentially for a lawsuit back against them from the guy and the production company that they tried to sue. So I'll show you that in addition to this thing you might have seen uh, about child sex mannequins related to Balenciaga. You might have seen that story, so I just want to make sure to cover it so you know what that's all about. But Ye came out in defense of Balenciaga. Kim is going to continue associating with Balenciaga. You've seen almost no one distance themselves from Balenciaga. I'll show you this uh, person on TV did get upset about it. And this is how some people feel. So let me share this. I'll play this clip for you. Okay. This guy ended up, ends up having to pull out his earpiece because somebody's telling him to shut up about it. But this is how some people are feeling about the Balenciaga story. Where's the outrage? I'm going to go off for a minute here because Please where go. is the outrage? It's been a week and a half. And now we're doing this story. I get it. Thanksgiving was happening and all that. But they tried to hide behind that, right? Maybe this will make it through the news cycle. No, it's not, okay? Adidas didn't cut ties 48 hours after Kanye did his whole thing, right? And they got lambasted for not speaking out against uh, anti-Semitism. This is a week and a half, and nobody seems to care that there's little kids involved in this. I can't speak what it's like to be a black man, right? I can't speak what it's like to be a Jewish woman, but I can speak what it's like to be a father of two young boys. And that this type of behavior, when I worked at CBS.com out of a little closet my first show, I was like, I'm going to say this and wear a blue shirt. I got 49 emails saying, maybe wear a purple shirt and maybe don't say this here. Don't tell me this slipped through the cracks right. when you're getting a court case that features child pornography. It's disgusting. It's disturbing. Jeopardy's got to flip their whole production because of w one person said something, but they wanted to be woke and do all that. How many other examples are there? 10, 20, 30, 40 years we're going back to cancel people, but this slips through the cracks? It's outrageous. And that people aren't outraged and skipping work with their posters and going to the courthouse or going to Balenciaga and stars aren't wiping their Instagram and social media with all their Balenciaga gear is disgusting in itself. Don't you tell me, Hollywood, how to live my life or you want me canceled or because you produce something. You're going to go around because Balenciaga pays you a million dollars, two million, five million. Kim Kardashian, shame on you. You're a billionaire. You don't need this company. They need you. And for you to take a week and a half to come to a conclusion, shame on you. All right. So that's that's he's expressing what a lot of people are feeling like. Hey, what's up? People get canceled, right? <clears throat> Balenciaga canceled Kanye, right? They canceled him way before the Hitler stuff, you know. But then nobody's, nobody so far is canceling Balenciaga as far as the celebrities they're involved with. And the guy responsible for the direction of Balenciaga, okay? And probably the guy responsible for the purses that look like teddy bears wearing bondage gear, right? Which were already a thing at Balenciaga in their gift shop long before the scandal. That guy, Demna Gvasalia, is also responsible for hooking up with the celebrities like Kanye West, yay, and Kim Kardashian, and uh, would get personal phone calls from yay all the time. And yay wore that hood on Alex Jones, that hood, look was pioneered by none other than Demna Gavsalia, who had dressed Kim K Kardashian also in a fully hooded setup for the Met Ball and accompanied her to the Met Ball. So that's who Demna is. Not a lot of people have focused on him. Anyway, he finally came out and made a statement via Instagram. I'll read the statement. This is it. Personal message. 
I want to personally apologize for the wrong artistic choice of concept for the gifting campaign with the kids. And I take my responsibility. It was inappropriate to have kids promote objects that had nothing to do with them. As much as I would sometimes like to provoke a thought through my work, I would never have an intention to do that with such an awful subject as child abuse that I condemn, period. I need to learn from this, listen and engage with child protection organizations to know how I can contribute and help on this terrible subject. I apologize to anyone offended by the visuals and Balenciaga has agreed that adequate measures will be taken not only to avoid similar mistakes in the future, but also to take accountability in protecting child welfare in every way we can. Sincerely, Demna. Okay, what does he say? He's sorry about putting the kids with the bears, right? The BDSM bears. He's sorry about that. That was his choice. All right. And he says it was wrong. He made a mistake and he wants to learn from it. But what does he not say? Is he doesn't take responsibility for the document. And that's really, when it comes down to it, that's the worst part of the whole thing is there was a Supreme Court document in the picture. It not only involved CP, uh, but it also had words on it. Like it had the word pornography and sexual and intercourse all visible on the document and somebody looked at that photograph and decided to publish it for their ad campaign. And they, first they said they were going to sue. That's they said first. Okay. It wasn't our fault. We're going to sue. Balenciaga said, we're going to sue North six, the production company and the set designer Desjardins, $25 million. They smeared Balenciaga. They set up Balenciaga etc. That was the original story. Now I'll read you the latest post from Balenciaga, who also posted a statement on Instagram. I'll read that here, where they drop the news. Here's what it says. Balenciaga takes the following actions with the objective to learn from our mistakes as an organization. New control instances. Our current process for content validation has failed and we recognize the need to do better. Content validation. On the internal side, we nominate with immediate effect an image board responsible for evaluating the nature of our content from concept to final assets, including legal, sustainability, and diversity expertise. On the external side, we have appointed a best-in-class agency to assess and evaluate our content. Okay, so they'll have somebody look at the pictures, and decide whether they have stuff about child pornography in them in the future. That's great at all. And they're going to make sure also that they'll have stuff about sustainability and diversity. So th thank you for that. Organization. We have reorganized our image department to ensure full alignment with our corporate guidelines. Lawsuit. Balenciaga has decided not to pursue litigation, but will they get sued for dragging that guy's name through the mud? Will they get sued because they really did a smear job on that set designer and his production company saying that he was responsible for the whole thing. So now that they're taking it back, we'll see if they really can take it back. Learn and contribute. We want to learn, help, and contribute to protect children. We are starting trainings on responsible communication across our teams. Together with my team, we will go on listening tour, in quotes, to engage with advocacy groups who aim to protect children. Donation. We have set aside a significant fund for grants to organizations so that we can help make a difference in protecting children. I want to personally reiterate my sincere apologies for the offense caused and take my responsibility. At Balenciaga, we stand together for children's safety and do not tolerate any kind of violence and hatred message. Signed, Cedric Charby, President and CEO. All right, so basically they did it. They're responsible. 
And now they're taking responsibility and they're going to go on a listening tour. They're going to donate some money and they're going to try to be better from now on and make sure that in the future, they don't have any other ads with stuff that people might find objectionable. So what do you think? You decide whether Balenciaga deserves to be forgiven or not. But I'll tell you, it's probably going away after this. You know, but as far as the celebrities go, they probably are going to say, oh, good enough. You guys say you don't, you're in, you're, the, you're in it to protect kids and so forth. So now let me tell you about the other kind of conspiracy theory or this thing being connected to Balenciaga, you might have heard about because it was kind of a big thing on Twitter. I'll show you the story. It involves the trigger words, child sex mannequins in the headline. So I'm gonna show you something that is uh, adult themed and could be offensive, okay? The image is gonna be blurred, but it's genitalia on a face, basically of a child, all right? So this thing sold through, I'm going to tell you the whole conspiracy theory or whatever it is, the guy that owns Balenciaga, the guy that owns the company that owns Balenciaga was called out on Twitter. They also own Christie's auction house. Christie's auction house sold some art, which uh, you know, was regarded as art, which is not actual doll sex dolls but it's um i'll tell you the name is it's a dirty word it's called fuck face and it's a kid with uh you'll, i'll show you okay it's blurred out but you'll get the idea so this thing sold so you got the connection that they're making to balenciaga the guy that owns the company that owns balenciaga that company also owns christie's auction house huge auction house which sold this piece of art, which you can see here, along with other um, freakish child uh, genitalia combinations, basically. Okay. It's still up like this is still up on the Christie's website. It sold for 130,000 pounds or something like that, which is a lot of money, 150 grand or something. Okay. It's considered art. You can read Christie's explanation of it. You decide whether it's really art or if the people that own that kind of thing, like you can decide what you think about people that would collect art that's like this, or that's like the art that's uh, created by the guy that's in the book that's also in the Balenciaga picture, who also has like disturbing images of toddlers. Okay, you you have to decide what you think about it. As far as the connection to Balenciaga, though, that they're making on Twitter and stuff, it's kind of a weak connection to Balenciaga. I mean, Christie's Auction House is a big auction house. Everybody knows about it. And the fact that it's owned by the same people that own Balenciaga doesn't mean Balenciaga is complicit in child sex dolls, for example. So... I'm saying it's a little bit of a conspiracy theory, but it is creepy, weird art that people are into. And that, yeah, you know, it was when I saw it, I was like, whoa, that's really messed up. But then I thought about it more and I thought, okay, well, it is messed up. But really what was messed up was putting that document in that picture and then also posing the kids with the bears. So um, I, and really we never got a good excuse about the the document that was in the picture. So that's the latest update, okay? If you wanna support my work, all of these videos are demonetized, but you can go to buymeacoffee.com slash lift the veil and you can leave me a coffee and a note and I'll read it on my next live show. And I super appreciate the support from you guys. So that's the latest update. Subscribe to the channel, hit the like button on your way out and We'll see you at the next one. That's what it is.